It's like, here's okay. the thing, right? So yeah. when people did blackface back in the day, when you looked at it, it was fucking terrible. That that's the real issue. It didn't look good. Don't you, I don't know if that's don't you think the issue. opportunity thing is an issue? And they yeah, made, it made it look bad for a reason. Okay, so okay, it was question, funny. question, question. You but don't that, you think because... that the opportunity is a bad thing? No, because what? no, okay. Because it goes in reverse too. Yeah. What 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 what? Hold on, example. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. White chicks is not a perfect example because it is that two black guys playing two white bitches. But but that's a satire movie. But that's a movie about satire. So no one cares. We're not talking about a satire movie. We're not talking about a satire movie. Just to address his argument because I think he said the same thing. I feel like if I made a movie about if I made a movie about how people shouldn't make movies about impoverished kids and I use or like people and kids in Africa and I'm using these kids in Africa to demonstrate that point it, like even though it's considered meta in like mm -hmm. some sort of ways I think it's just uh, a cop out really mm -hmm. honestly I think in all honesty um, you're I, I just don't feel it's but but would it be wrong to to make a movie about uh, impoverished kids in Africa mm -hmm. and use 10 white kids that you painted black no, not really. Why? How? Like, 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 where, where are we going backwards well, here? Because yeah. on, the on, thing on, is, on the is terms you're of viewing like, it as like you're slapping some black paint on them and you're throwing them on the screen. No, like, you're no. taking like they're putting that you have makeup artists that are on there, yeah, making them look like Africans. So, bro. so like, like I named the black when actor. I came into that movie. I didn't I want to respond know that to the movie Robert, he brought up. Robert so House Downey Jr. You I'm mentioned white him. chicks. And I want to mention that by the way. And there's a few comments here. So Smooth mentioned white chicks earlier. So uh, I just want to point out that this is similar, basically the same concept yeah. as the uh, Robert Downey Jr. thing because those characters are not white women. Yeah, they are black men that are dressed in as white women throughout the film. They're never white women. Right. They're always pretending to be white women. So I guess no, you're no, black say, dudes. They're black dudes that get in costume. Pretending and, and so that's my part point of being, the movie, on, though. So my point being is we're not watching this movie. There's these two white females that are black guys are casted right. as, okay. and we're supposed to believe these are legitimate. The whole point of the film but is what about these Terry are black Cruz men. in the movie, right? Terry Cruz. Well, he what, doesn't what, play. What, <laughs> nah, but what they do with Terry Cruz? <laughs> Terry Cruz doesn't, doesn't play. how they make Terry Cruz <laughs> but he doesn't that, right? play a white guy. Yeah, but no, but what so. they do is is what they make him a stereotypical fucking house nigga that sit here that and talks proper. And first of all, first what of all, mean? hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that on. Point. See, it's Terry Crews. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. That fucking dress is all the fucking the subjects of the movie. Blacks and some fucking dress shoes. First of all, what are we talking about? First of all. If you what? watch, if you, you watch that, if you watch an interview, <laughs> he drops that fucking hammer on the bitch and she can't walk, bro. What are you saying? <laughs> yes, which was part of. First of all, the movie's written by the Wayne and Brothers, which are black, so. I'm not black, sure black writers and producers. Yeah, Terry Crews on Shannon Sharp's podcast flat out said how he improvised a lot of that character and made the character who he wanted the character to That's be. What actors do so. Oh, yeah. Yes. So again, nobody typecasted him to be this way. And again, the movie is a parody. The the the, the issue would be if Terry Crews played a guy. Named named Harold Johnson, and they put white makeup on and made him a white guy. And then there was never a part like in White Chicks where the detectives you see them as black guys who have to play to white women to 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 get information. This just went over your head. No, it's it's not Wait, going over my head. Terry Crews is the one African American person right in this whole Hamptons, Paul. <laughs> He's the I'm one black really guy, to make this and what they do is they don't make him act like the the average black person you see on the street. What do they make him do? You're saying his shit is like a minstrel show. The minstrel show is actually Terry Crews. <laughs> That's how sick That's they got. That is meta as fuck. Okay, oh. <laughs> so, so again, let, let, uh, back on point. The point is that that, that point, throughout honest, time you, you okay. have had bro. There, there, there is no. What is your point? Are you guys for he typecasting said, or against it? I just want to make clear like for or against type guys so like Cast whoever you want like casting somebody because they fit a specific sure like um uh, i don't if, have if an it issue helps with, with the story i don't yeah. have an issue with it where when it's relevant to the character so uh, we've had midget, we've had example. this conversation about like superheroes i use it this is i'll use this because this is just something i have sure. uh at the forefront of my mind so captain america mm -hmm. um I would have an issue with Captain America being recasted as a black person, for example. Sure. Uh, the the original Captain America. And the reason being is because his experience wouldn't make any sense. You would have to literally lie about American history. If all, if if Captain if Captain America in the 1940s mm -hmm. is a black guy, everybody loves him. He's treated with yeah. the utmost reverence and all this. Not so that has to be a white person just because of the time period it's Historical based in. Context. Yeah. Right. So it's like, but for example, Spider-Man, and I mean Peter Parker, not Miles Morales, when the conversation was surrounding 
uh, making Spider-Man black and maybe uh, Donald Glover was going to play him. I don't have any issue with that because I think with the character Spider-Man, his race is completely irrelevant. Uh, that multiverse, character though, too. You have the multiverse. So the thing is, well, but you Marvel have other characters. characters with that. I'm saying, but let's st- let's stick to white because we're talking about like yeah. typecast white characters. Peter Parker a, a is a white Bronx. character. Um, but they have the a Queens. black Spider-Man. The but, Queens, yeah, uh, the Queens. My bad. They do. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying take. That it doesn't have to be another character. Right. They made another Spider-Man, Miles Morales. He's Puerto Rican and black. Right. So then they end up making movies when this whole thing was happening and this whole uproar. They ended up making movies featuring him to, I guess, kind of appeal to the audience that really wanted a black Spider-Man. Right. Um, but for me, it didn't end up being that. I don't care if Spider-Man doesn't have to be black. But if somebody, if they did make a choice to go with a different actor that was black, right. I just wouldn't care. I don't think that that is relevant to... Peter Parker's story. He could still be from Queens. His fucking uncle could still die. Uh, his parents could be gone. He's a science nerd. Like all those things aren't exclusive to being white. Agreed. So that can, you know, and how's he, he's actually treated like shit. So anybody can be treated like shit. Um, yeah, yeah. But, but, but all that's even outside of like, like even like, does that answer your question? I mean, I realized I was answering your questions, but yeah, yeah. Okay, but, sure. but, but, but like, 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 like this is beyond typecasting, like typecasting being like, Hey, listen, like, like, like we're making a movie about Mexico, so we have to find a Mexican. We can't be Venezuelan. You can't be Puerto Rican. Like, like, like that would be get Spanish. Right. But again, if you're trying to be super meta or what we're trying to say, then you would go straight Mexican, right? Like you would try to be in someone Spanish. If you're trying, I'm not saying what you would do. I'm uh, saying if like, if I'm trying to be as pure, I'm going to go with the exact nationality. I'm not saying like that's what you should do. Like what you're saying, find a Spanish person makes sense. Yeah, but the that, that's what makes doesn't sense. Doesn't define if you're black. I can be black in Africa. I can be black from France. Is what I'm saying. So yes, the nationality I, doesn't matter. Is what I'm saying. What but, I'm saying is you're casting like say the guy who plays the um, uh, the, the the Jedi in um, uh, Rogue One, whatever the black okay. guy. He picks up the Jedi sword or whatever he can use it. Right. That yeah, dude's Jabba fucking. Yaga. He's fucking British. He yeah, but, but what British, does that have? But to... they cast them as an American black person. What okay. I'm saying is, where you're from doesn't fucking matter. They care about what you look like. If Again, anything, role, we're right? talking if about hypo- I'm, hypo- I'm hypothetically speaking. Listen, okay. I'm hypothetically speaking. You. So if I'm trying to be as like meta as we're saying, then I would go straight nationality. I understand where it's like, hey, listen, we need a black character so Idris Elba can play a guy from fucking Boston. Okay, that is typical. That's normal. What we are talking about is saying, hey, we need a black guy. We, we, we need uh, a guy to be from Chicago, this gangbanger from Chicago. Okay, well, Tom Cruise is going to p- play him as a black guy. Not not as Tom Cruise, a white guy, but we're, but he's gonna Al be the, was a he, from he's Chicago gonna be the, his name's gonna be Deshaun. We're gonna put dreads on him. We're gonna put prosthetic lips, a prosthetic nose. We're gonna paint him black instead of just finding someone like uh, uh, Denzel's son, just to throw someone out there. <laughs> that that yeah, that is completely wrong. I think that that will never fly if it's serious. If it is something that is satire and to make fun of, to poke fun like white chicks or Tropic Thunder, so then like that's say, where it will fly. There's like a biop a biopic about like Muhammad Ali and they used a white guy and made him look a lot like Muhammad Ali. Actually, you, that's not acceptable. One better one. Yeah, I wouldn't his accept that. His grandkids, because his grandkids are white. If they use one of his grandkids to do well, a biopic, say, would you have a problem with that? Let's say slaves. Like, let's say if I got a whole bunch of white actors to like, and I got them as good looking as Robert Downey Jr. to play the slaves. Like, is that wrong? Like, y'all really think that's wrong? I, I, I would feel like to put a you white would, uh, again. W- w- would you feel wrong to sit there and put on black makeup and then act like a slave? No, I would. I, 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 I personally, from someone with a black wife, like, 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 like personally, kids. as someone with like seven black siblings, I would. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I would honestly feel like, how do I portray a slave w- without it being somewhat offensive to, again, like being someone that's white? Mm-hmm. I, I think, I think that all that really does matter. And we had to put it into perspective. Again, people have the reason why Tropic why Thunder. Why did you act though? Hold on. So I, I'm, no, you know, I mostly I, agree I, with you, just, but like, I think that at that point, I don't really is, understand. I think because, because it's a little disingenuous. You're so, not walking down the street with blackface on saying, fuck all the niggers. You know acting, but, but you yeah, got a job that a black person should have got. So again, we have sat here and throughout time, the reason why Tropic Thunder was culturally appropriate and so big and that that character was so important was because that is something that was fought against and fought for forever. It's just mm-hmm. the, the black actors say, hey, listen, instead of casting a white person, why don't you cast a black person? We're good actors, too. But that's just why sit there and say, about- just sit there and say that you can't find a black counterpart that's as good as the, the actors. I asked about but- the typecasting because the typecasting, black people typically have a problem with being typecasted as either a slave or a thug. 
So what if I were to be a white person and sort of alleviate that feeling? And hey, you don't have to be a slave in the I take those jobs for you. Usually they pick the guy who's going to act the role the I'll best. I'll take that check for you. Right, right, I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think just like with anything else, when you get hired for a job, you're hiring the person who can best do what you need, right? Mm -hmm. So whether it's black, white, whatever. Merit-based. People change their skin color all the time. Michael Jackson question. was black and turned white. Can I ask you a question you about that, that, though? Do you think that the experience as a even modern black person, do you think that that informs the performance where a white person maybe couldn't have the no. performance informed if in the same way? you told me Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. was going to play uh, Mr. Washington Carver, who created peanut butter and all that, and he and he did a great job. I wouldn't give a fuck. That's why. The problem is, if he does a good job doing it, and he he puts his his all into it to do it, like, and he's not being racist, then why do I care? Because again, again, why would Leonardo DiCaprio get the job over someone? Does the job argument that's most qualified? Oscar winning, but that that doesn't make sense. Most qualified, most qualified of what? Where? But but is able to portray that character? Denzel. Well, Denzel wouldn't fit because in this hypothetical. Leonardo is the theoretical best actor, and they have the ability with make the sure prosthetics or whatever to make him look black. So there's under that, and I guess I can understand sort of the jobs being taken away, but that really just means that we have to kind of check off these boxes of okay, there's enough black people, there's enough Asians, there's enough, and that kind of leads to where we're at now, but, where but, like stagnant. But that's not even what we're meaning. That we're meaning as far as like like taking a black character mm -hmm. and then instead of using a black care white character, if Asian you took character, a Malcolm and X just changing and made them, it a white guy and put makeup on him to play Malcolm X. I that would no be the largest that. insult to Malcolm X. I think you could have sure. done. Yeah. It's literally it's literally use a white guy to portray him. Like 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 like, like like we have to be honest. Like like I, I listen so like you're basically saying hire a black guy even if there's someone better hire the black guy anyway. Where are you just getting that the black guy isn't as good? Well, they're that, saying that's what, 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 what I understand but the hypothetical yeah. actor, nonsense right? when you're looking at the actor the actor the actor status is implying that they're able to get into the role. That so that's established, right? We've already established they can get into the role. They can be a white guy who gets into the emotions of being a slave or something like that. So that's established. So establishing that, now we have to figure out who's the best person to do that. And so if a white person happens to be that, I yeah. don't have an issue. I want to ask you a question then. Sure. This is a little bit off acting. Do you think that a black person, I mean, a white person could uh, truly understand a black person's experience? Well, that's part of the acting ability. Well, I'm acting, I think 100%. I even outside of acting, say like, 100%. could you could you understand that like even a modern, which I think is more mm -hmm. easy to understand because you're both modern men. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you could understand Denzel's experience? I think uh, I'm from the islands, brother. No. Your experience as an like American this. man. You yeah. just said you just said earlier you're American. So man. wow, because it's a little bit too individualistic. But let me say yeah. this: I think my well, just make it bigger than I just think my generation man. of of. I guess white people mm -hmm. feet are are just as separated as the black people in our generation to any slavery or anything like that. If that yeah. answers your Agreed. question, do you think black people have a unique experience in America? No, not nowadays. Okay, maybe right. maybe maybe That's in fine. the microcosms, maybe in yeah, the yeah. Sort of thing, but in the macro, I think most of the issues aren't as um, so pronounced. As so so like. so you 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 don't think that the white people have get more patience from authority figures than black people? Mm. But with your experience in school, I would say given with, the with, fact with of, Coach Pryor, with with certain like authority figures, uh -huh. to where it was clear that certain certain no. people, well, let's talk about a lot less of a leash. Let's talk about other authority I, I figures. Why think, is it that NBA players or NFL is as big as percentage of black uh, people as um, like they're like the percentage is 70s, 60 percent? There's a different authority that's you know they're both authority, although you're talking sort of about a different kind, but they're both considered authority in their realms. And and black people benefit a lot. It seems like seventy five percent, thirteen percent of the nation. Yeah, it's a lot of but, people to be. But if we're talking about uh, 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 like law, uh, yeah, poor. That has to do with class, though. And black people happen to be in a lower class, as we know from redlining and all of these. Right, other but, things. but 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 that's experience. That that is. But that's what we're talking about, right? Like, but I think there's more white people that are poor and more white people that deal with that kind of. Oh, uh, statistically, a hundred percent. Again, again, like like white people really outnumber any other right. uh, all demographics when it comes to welfare. So I think right, but but it, but it's portrayed as a mm -hmm. black handout, right? A lot of politicians, when they talk against welfare, will usually target an inner sure, city. Well, let's let's land this because I feel like you're getting sure, a little sure, far sure. from it. Well, let's no, bring just, it back to yeah. it because I'm not really clear what point you're making. So I, I'm just saying that yeah. I, I think that yeah, even Related still, city, I'm still I'm, I'm saying that I still think that, that today's modern day, although it's not nearly as bad as it was 60, 70, 150 years ago, mm -hmm. that yeah. there's still a That's difference. Fair, that, that, that there's still a difference, right? And then as far as like like with like what we were talking about originally, the acting, I just 
I understand where you could say that Leonardo DiCaprio might be the be better at this spot, but to sit there and really like hypothetically speaking, but to sit there and take the hypothetical out and put reality to it, mm -hmm. you know that there are black actors that are just as good as as Leonardo. He isn't just far and away the best actor of all time. There's not many, brother. But, but literally there, just are, numbers would there aren't many white actors that are as good. He doesn't land every role. Many. Numbers but, would okay, take so, that's that's wild. Wild. so you're saying Leonardo is one of the top actors black or white in the world what i'm saying is if he's the best and they can make him look like an african-american what is the issue make with the character white why do you have but how do you make a black person white okay. what if they made sense. okay but what if they made a swift they didn't blackface him they just made him a white slave He's a white guy who would again, have to be a slave. Again, have to have to one that's, yeah, guys, that's, that's historically, historically act like he's incorrect. <laughs> uh, again, okay. where, where right. do, do you think that Leonardo DiCaprio should play a black character? Uh, I, I, don't, so. okay. I don't. Okay. Well, I've so, never having a fucking conversation. Right, but, but again, Paul, so, ask questions. So, so again, no, like, like, but, but let's act like what I'm saying is yeah. crazy. Like, 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 I get, like, we're I get where, where it, we can so just. So would you jump. think it's weird if J if uh, Jamie Foxx and Leonardo switch roles in that movie? Would you? you, you would that you would be that? fucking what if, crazy. What if yes. Jamie Foxx played Washington, can, can George Washington? Would that be a high? No, Jamie Foxx should not play George Washington. First of all, lit. But Let number two, I think that that should be totally fine. Like, yeah, I don't know. If no. they can literally make you look like George Washington anybody a white on man. screen, yeah. there is no reason. <laughs> Paul's taking a stand. Just, just because you know, George Washington is white, guy. You're not taking a walk. Then, then, then you know, you're right. You're right. Because you're focusing on on what they walk in their. You're right. Then you know all the black actors get the fuck out of Hollywood. It's a white man's industry. Leonardo DiCaprio is better. You're mad about Brad Pitt better. Matt Damon. Matt Damon is better. When it's a black role, yes. Dude, well, what let me are ask we you a question. Here, about? I want to ask you the same question I asked them. I'm curious your perspective on it. Do you think that a white man, or vice versa, but let's stick to this, white man could act, could they really understand the experience of a black man? I think that, that through conversation, you can understand the best you can. I don't well, think that, that you can well, say that you live the understand, life. Though. Under but I even understand what your life you is or your life. Like when we're white and everything, like I couldn't even 100% understand what your guys' life is like. So I think the yeah. ability to understand is. Well, you're making it very individualistic. Could you kind of give us an idea of what it is to be white? Macro, well, no, no, yeah, no. Because I was the question I'm asking you is can a white man know what it is to so be yes, a black again, man? Okay. That's very general. So, so, so could okay. you tell us generally what it means to be a white? I think I could, like generally what it means to be a white man what kind of that experience is pursuit what? of happiness will smith he went and dealt with the exact yeah. person that the story was about a black man. him for months it could have been a white man do it don't matter he got to know the oh, person okay, right. to portray the character following. is the point that's mm -hmm. what actors do don't matter if you're yeah. black white yellow green purple we got to get away from this race shit. let me well, hit fucking ridiculous I'm hit what do you mean with, get away from the can race we, shit? can we can we like splice it down a little bit let's even go yeah. let's go like a little bit what if it was a dark-skinned person and then there was they hired a light skinned black guy. Is that okay or is that not okay? They have to be kind of like that because because there is colorism, right? Sure. And colorism is a huge problem. In you know uh, the black, the dark black Definitely. guys are usually the th Medea movies are accused of this. The black guy is always the the dark one is always the mean, abusive drug dealer, and mm. the light guy always comes mm. and saves the fucking day. That's so would, would would the light but character? Idris Elba was a good guy in a movie, but yeah, I get what like, right, right, right. Again, sure. that, that's just where the internet kind of like what movie start. What what movie was what? Idris Elba? Uh not Dire of Anger yeah. Black Woman. What's the one? Uh Daddy's not Daddy's Little Yeah, Daddy's Little Girl, right? I'm not sure. It's the one where he had the two daughters. He was a mechanic. Uh his ex his baby mama was married to the drug dealer. He wanted to be in his ass. This is, by the, the way, street. probably in response to the fucking uh criticism, to be honest, but mm -hmm. that's that's fine. But Maybe. again, yeah, I mean, but, he is right. There's a ton of examples of no, what he's no, talking no, about. No, the, and the, you're the, able to point to one example. The, so I mean, the, what I'm saying is is the colorism is fair as far as like like but what, is it just any black guy again? Like, yeah, like, like, about? sure. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, if, yeah. if, 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 you, if, if you're going hotel That's Rwanda, fair. no, hold on. Cause hotel Rwanda, right. Good example. There wasn't a light skin guy from Rwanda there. Right. They, they, they used what do you mean? African. Nate, what light skin was in that movie? Like in the background, you mean like a main character? They didn't no. have a main character that was light skin, but there was definitely fair skinned black people in there. Yeah, I don't know. Not I, I don't know. Let's not get too specific. Fuck, let, me, let me hit up these comments real quick. Uh, so this one. Okay. So makeup. Okay. So movie. this is white chicks. Okay. Makeup better. So it's okay. Uh, Paul is cool with that. Um, go, go. Okay. I so I think do, that was me. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it was that smooth. I think it's, I think we're saying because it was, did we say that it was fine? But I think we said smooth, the, the, by the way, the, it was the parody. The yeah. Parody. Because they aren't playing white women. They're playing yeah. black guys playing white women. Um, do elves 
do else have a reason to be mad? Uh, C, I don't know what the C is referred to. My bad. I got to these a little yeah, later. Will Ferrell played uh, an elf, man. Look how upset. <laughs> right. Look how upset Paul job. gets when you talk about his people. Uh, right. uh, short circuit, blood. Johnny. Uh, <laughs> short, uh, short okay. circuit, Johnny. Five you, motherfucker. Um, okay, so okay. Uh, Johnny from Short Circuit was a uh, blackface or somebody that's playing a race other than who they are. So that's interesting. Um, Uncle Uncle Ben could be uh, Black Paul. I, I think we're we were all in agreement on that. That uh, Spider Man could switch races if if need be. Uh, I hate when gay men play straight men. <laughs> uh, am I right? Uh, no one cares. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like all that just ignorant stretches to this, be this real. Like, 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 <laughs> like, like, let's be real. Crazy. Like, we're talking about <laughs> we're talking about color. Well, let's and, get like, to the rest be... of this. I don't want you to get into a diatribe because we have several more comments no, we haven't been getting to. It's been like twenty minutes. Uh, jaded. Um, so uh, this isn't jaded spade. So we got another jaded in the chat. Shout out to you. Appreciate you for tuning in. Just laughs. Just laughs. Thought well, whatever. Whatever we were talking. Whatever we were talking about at ten was funny. Um, <laughs> how do we know Leo wants the role? Uh, what about Ryan Reynolds? He's Canadian. I would take. Ryan Reynolds. Amen. I would take Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. They get a tan. He would actually would get really into the fucking role. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Reynolds is great. Ryan Reynolds um, would die. <laughs> Fred Hampton. That would be great. <laughs> Fred oh, Hampton, yeah. No, that's uh, <laughs> the, the fucking Malcolm X one. That was wild. Like, you guys went far. I will appreciate that. You guys stood on uh, that's stood wild. business. Yeah, Bob, <laughs> Bob, that, that, that Bob Marley movie should have been the fucking white guy. Channing Tatum should have played Bob Marley. Bob Marley's yeah, actually made to put that fucking black makeup on him. I would have had no wild, problem. Bro, that's so... Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it is interesting that that's your perspective. So like how do you feel Katie about the real. dude who played him being half white? But he's half white. Bob Marley is. But either way, um, I feel like they, they kind of resembles Bob Marley. No, plus Bob Marley is is nobody hearing that he is mixed. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. his dad's white. Um, all right, so guys, I want to get your opinion before we get out of here. Um, just give me a yay or nay on some blackface. <laughs> get it. All right, so Joni Mitchell, I don't know what's going on here, so we're not going to judge it, but uh, I don't know. Um, all right, so Ted oh, Danson, boy. how do you feel about Ted Danson from Cheers? What's the context? What is he? Uh, oh, let's see. He appeared at a New York Friars Club roast in 1993 with then girlfriend Whoopi Goldberg wearing blackface makeup to perform an inf uh, an offensive N word filled comedy routine. It's not my cup of tea, but I mean, right, what hey. you want to do? That's Oof. art, though, right? <laughs> Hey, What's the limits? Yeah, do freedom, what you do. freedom of press, brother. I mean, what's your like, opinion? I'm curious. If, well, okay. freedom of press doesn't mean you have to support it. Exactly. Yeah. Care. Yeah. You don't care. Okay. I just don't care. I, obviously, I wouldn't attend the shit. But this like, doesn't make well, you. Actually, I actually might watch. How funny it is. It depends on. <laughs> it, it, I probably would go watch. I, I, I guess one thing that is yeah. like 